so much for tuning in to another episode of Them Bulls. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you miss out on any updates from my channel. So we have some things to discuss, Bulls fans. A lot has been happening this week. You know, the Bulls have been in national media from Monday until today, Friday. I mean, just a lot has been happening. So yesterday it was reported by Malika Andrews from ESPN that Jabari was going to be out of rotation for the Bulls, which was kind of surprising, not surprising for us Bulls fans. We kind of saw this coming, but not as soon as it did. So between that reporting, today it comes out that Casey Johnson reported from Chicago Tribune that the Bulls are looking at offers for Jabari. <laughs> now, between this report and the report from yesterday from ESPN, Boylan and Jabari both spoke to the media and they both said that this was not going to be a permanent thing, you know, for him being out of rotation and that they were trying to look at different options, you know, to see where he fit. But somehow communication was lost and now Jabari is being traded from the Chicago Bulls. Well, that is what Casey Johnson is reporting. So, I mean, all of this is just a big soap opera like one of you guys commented on my last video how you know the bulls is just like a circus right now how we're just waiting on the next big thing to happen so everybody can just make fun of them it's just so much going on with this team and so today while watching espn i faithfully watched the jump with rachel nichols and today scotty piffin was on there and he was talking about this whole thing with jabari and he made a point how Jabari should have taken a longer time off between his injury and coming back to play professionally, you know, with the Bulls, saying that he's out of shape and that he needs to condition more. Now, I totally agree with everything that he said, but it's just crazy between him and Zach. They both got hurt around the same time, and Zach is playing like he's never been hurt while you have Jabari who looks like he's out of shape now he has trimmed down a lot but he still looks like he needs to like scotty Pippen said to condition more so you can obviously see where a lot of players say they put in work for off season it shows on the court and it shows that zach put in a lot of work and it just seems like jabari not saying that he didn't put in a lot of work but it just is evident and since we are talking about trade talks so early tell me who would you want the bulls to get you know, to trade Jabari Parker for. Now, in my opinion, you guys are probably gonna kill me for this, but I will want the Bulls to trade Justin Holiday and Jabari for Markel Fultz. Do not slam me in the comments, that is my opinion. Now, some people are throwing out trade talks on Twitter saying that the Bulls should trade Jabari for Otto Porter from the Wizards. That is the most ridiculous idea I have ever read or heard of. That man has too much money on his contract for the Bulls to trying to get him. But that's just like a Bulls move. They probably would want to get a player like that and take on all that money. But let me know who you guys would want the Bulls to get. So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, what is the solution for the Bulls right now? How can they move on? How can they get better? Well, right now, there is no solution. We have to just ride it out and just sit there and just watch this whole thing unfold. Like we knew that we were in a rebuilding stage, but a lot of us did not expect the circus and just everything, the messiness surrounding this whole rebuilding team that's going on right now. And another thing that needs to happen is that everyone on the court needs to know their role. You can visibly tell that a lot of players on the court are lost. You have Laurie Marketing who is not shooting as much as he was and Lori marketing is our best player on the team so i don't know guys so let me know what you guys think in the comments about everything that's going on with the bulls this week i forgot to mention that zach levine is going to be out with an ankle injury for the next couple of games i mean the news depending on how you take in this news probably keeps getting better and better or worse and worse depending on if you're rooting for a tank or if you're just like me and it's just it's, it's too much let me know you guys opinions and thoughts in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video make sure you subscribe if you have it thanks so much for watching